What's up guys, it's Rock here. Welcome back to Game with Cosplay. Today we have Dragon Ball Legends and you guys see it from the title. I'm going to help you guys on how to get the new training medals that you can get from this event. But before we get into that, if you guys enjoy Dragon Ball Legends content, maybe you guys subscribe to the channel. I try to upload Dragon Ball Legends content every single day at 5pm Central Time as best as I possibly can. Hit that notification bell as soon as I upload, to get notified as soon as I upload any new gaming content. And let's get to 15 likes on today's video. So, without further ado, the way that you guys are going to be able to get these training medals. Make sure you guys stay to the end because we're going to go into the details on how to get them, how to use them, and the rewards you get from them. So, of course, you're going to go over here to recommended. Train, train, train some more. This is where you're going to be spending some time. I'm going to be using all my skip tickets to get all this stuff done because there's a main reason for me being a veteran player since day one i'll explain that as well but uh, i haven't completed everything but i have gotten the gold stars done from last night i want to f highly focus on hyperdimensional battle duel as well this 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 time around because i missed out on the zenkai we're also going to be summoning in tomorrow's video for the zenkai tickets because they will be going away so as you guys can see here i like that i don't have to go into it anymore but every single mission that you can do in this area is going to give you some training medals this is where you farm it guys like this is where you farm out all these new training medals for this and then this event is only once a day so you're going to want to do that once a day and also apologize for the noise guys the fiance is cooking some dinner right now and you're just going to want to do these events we'll go ahead and just look into one event real quick so you'll see some first time rewards 10 chrono crystals and give you your basic stuff here of what you need to do i have all of the super warriors available to go this should be a very very easy grindable thing already lost extn and ex krillin very very simple to do you literally beat out the first three areas and you'll be able to unlock those two characters which you guys know me if you guys have been watching for a while i love to collect all these characters so that's the main reason why i want to get them as uh their star ranking as high as possible now if you go to the exchange shop you got a few items to get so you got chow tzu you got some slot removers you also got some equipment cards you also have the Rising Souls all the way down. And then Super Souls. This is something very formable, especially for new players. I recommend highly doing this. Working from the bottom up, the Super Souls, and then going up to all of this. But I'm going to farm this out because I want to be ready for what characters are next. And I'm just literally going to be able to do this and just farm out every single one of them. So I will do the math. And I will put it on the video on how many of the souls you'll get. So 30, that's 3,000 for the rising souls there. So you'll get a lot, a lot of rising souls. And I want to get them all saved up and maxed out so I can have them and ready for the whatever character's next. Whether, you know, they get be, V-Jump be scanned, leaked, and stuff like that. Anything of that sort, I'm really going to be really prepared. I recommend you guys to highly do the same thing, whether you are new if you're new, you can put it in the characters that you currently have that you want to level up, or you can save it for the next characters like what I'm going to be doing today. And let's go ahead and jump into one of these events. Get into this, so let's look at the reward or the challenges real quick and see. So clear without single casualty, pretty simple. Clear without rising rush, real, real, real simple. And then clear with one Krillin. We're going to go ahead and do that one Krillin one real quick. Super simple, not hard at all. It's an easy grind for some free characters. I recommend doing it. It is not hard at all. And it's pretty quick load time right now, too. That's a very good sign right there. All right. It's going to be able to be knocked out pretty easily. Even though we have the type disadvantage. Definitely want to go with the type advantages on this one, or you're going to be spending more time doing this one I'm doing right now. Because I'm all at the type disadvantage, so it's going to be a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I see how you're playing. Got to push on through. Get the main ability off. We're going to go ahead and Rising Rush. Even though it asks us not to, we're going to go ahead and do it because it's going to be easy to grind anyways. Got it. But we got to get the maximum amount of damage so we can get out of this fight. 
pretty quickly. Alright. 1.3 million. For a type this fan is just not too bad. He's gonna go in for the strike attack. I failed. Failed the vanishing gauge, but that's all good. We're gonna be able to KO this with no problem. Bam. And there goes EXTN. There's not too many crazy things you can get with that, but if you also have equipment, if you're an equipment player, I recommend doing the equipments. I don't mess with the equipments too much, even though I probably should. It can create a really good stat boost for the characters that are needed, and I just don't mess with equipments very much. So that's something I definitely need to work on. I have one of those times today. And then this is where you can get some more EX uh, TN shards right here. EXT power souls. Why did I say T? <laughs> EXTNZ power souls right there. So that's a way to farm out TN. Not too shabby. You can do that once a day and then just enjoy the game. And then also if you check out missions, we'll finish it out here. You can get a few more shards as well. Right here on the train 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 some more. As you can see here, challenge battle, training medals, get a bunch of those, you can get a lot of Krillins. Super, super easy farmable event. You can get it done pretty quickly, pretty efficiently, and reap some rewards of at least being able to uh, soul boost a bunch of your characters. A good amount, at least, let's see, five, six with all those if you get everything unlocked. From 1 to 7, you should be getting about 5 or 6 characters soul boosted. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite. Share with a friend or two or three. As always, live free, work hard, and base on. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys need help with. If you guys need any help, as well as what you guys would like to see next. Bye, guys. For more daily content, subscribe here. If you want to see more of my daily life and behind-the-scenes stuff, subscribe here. If you want to see some other games I play, click here. Also, if you want to check out my main channel for dance videos, topics, and solo adventures, click here. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload new content on all my channels. Bye, guys.